Hello. 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 Hey, hello. hey hello. everybody. Hey, everybody. Hello, the internet. Um, hello. I am your host, Brad, and we are. Uh, we, this is our third hello. installment of the um, of our Upstairs Neighbors series, brought to you by our friends at Exclaim. And uh, welcome to the new Colossus Sessions. I'm in Tahoe. We're joined today from Montreal by Paul Jacobs. Paul Jacobs, thank you very much for being here. Hello. Thank you very much. Thank you. We're all very excited. Thank you for being here. Thank you. Yes, thank you for ascending from uh, from wherever you guys just were into into the frame. This is outstanding, man. Thanks for doing this, dude. This is great. Yeah, man. Pretty excited to d to finally do something. <laughs> yeah, dude. Doing things is way cooler than not doing things, and there's yeah. been a whole lot of not doing things lately. So this is great, man. I really enjoyed the the sound check process and getting to kind of hang out with you guys, man. I can't wait until it's actually time to hang out with each other for real. Yeah, dude. It's gonna be great. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, New York. So congratulations in advance to you because um, with the the name of the album of the upcoming album, that's not a secret, right? Can we can we say what it's called? Just not the. Well, we, uh, or I, don't know. I, I forget. <laughs> I've been holding. Okay. On, I, I've well, been holding on to it for a little while. You know, so there, maybe, there, maybe I'll there, just hold off. There is uh, new music coming out at some point, and we're going to hear a ton of it today. So congratulations yeah. in advance to you guys on the fact that it will exist very soon, yeah. uh, at some point, and uh, we're hearing a ton of it, man. Can you tell us what's coming up first today? Uh, I'm going to play a song from that album. This is like the last one I recorded, like the missing piece of putting it all together, and it's a quarantine song, which is I. I hate to say, but it is. All right, and it's called Underneath the Roses. All right. Get my damn mic up here. Here we go.
you. This is cool, man. You guys sound great. Yeah, Thanks dude. for doing it's it. Fun. Yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah. This is a lot of fun. This is precisely what I want to be happening in my life on this Friday afternoon. Yeah. Um, let's see. Hey, Darlene, Darlene Jacobs is here. Sounds great. Windsor loves you guys. Wow. Pam's tuned in. Hey, Pam. I know Pam. Love this. They sound great. Yeah, dude. We've got some uh, Got some people are pretty stoked. Uh, Doc yeah. is stoked. Hey, Doc. Um, can we, uh, so dude, just before we went live, um, Steve sent me a picture of the, he said, dude, check out this painting. And he sent me a picture of that painting. He's like, yeah. dude, I, I know that painting very much. Let's talk about painting, man. What is, what's going on uh, in that, um, in the image? Like, what is it, what is it to you? What well, is that? What is that? Uh, what's, what's you know, happening like there? During the quarantine time, it's like, you got to find something else to do instead of your favorite thing all the time. But, uh, I just wanted to work on a big painting and it was me and Meg and she, like I, you know, she helped me color it in and stuff. So it'd be like a week long project where we were just hanging out and painting and listening to music. And it's just like a big house scene, you know, with some cowboys. That's awesome. Dude, I enjoy it very much. I've got a, uh, I should cut to, uh, let's see, Steve is here right now. Steve, hello, Steve. Yo, Steve. Hey, man, Mike is here. Dude, everyone's here. Hey. Um, Everyone. Yeah. So we <laughs> know you, Paul. We know Meg now. Can you uh, can you introduce us to everybody? Yeah. Well, I'll go Eddie first. He's like uh, from my hometown, Windsor, as well. So we hey, go Eddie. way back. Hi, Mary. Good old Eddie. <laughs> hey, Mary. Uh, Mackenzie Sawyer in the back. Kingston, bass player. Evan Sharma from Barry. Everybody knows where these places are. And Peter Bayless. He's uh, from Montreal, Beaconsfield. There. He's a uh, local. Well, hello, everybody. We um, yeah. can you can you talk a little bit about how I mean this project started as a solo project and has expanded and expanded and now the the lineup is what it is today. Um, what uh, I mean, w how did that happen? Why did that happen? Like, what do people bring to the table and why? Um, oh, well, why? This is a stupid question. You know, you know the vibe of the question yeah, that I yeah. can't verbalize right now. You you go. Well, like it it all started like. Back in Windsor, I was just doing like a one man band thing. So, so I, cause like, you know, I was learning guitar and I just wanted to make songs and like be able to hold on to my songs for the rest of my life, you know? Cause I've been in like a lot of bands where they break up and then you never get to hear the song again. They just disappear. So I just, that's what was my, you know, motivation for doing it myself. And then I was just doing the one man band thing for like a, lot, a long time. I moved to Montreal. I was still doing it and it was like just limited and I wasn't able to get booked on. You know, I'd always be like an opener on shows and stuff. And then uh, Meg, she learned drums to start the band. And then we just got another member, my buddy Matt. Like, there's a bunch of people that have been in it. And then, you know, it just built up to this level. But, like, recording is still, like, a thing. Like, writing and recording, I just do it in my free time, like, personal kind of thing. And they just, they've been helping me out for a while now, the band. Sweet. Well, you guys are doing great, man. I, I enjoy, um, I have had a chance to list, have a sneak peek at the new album. And this is, dude, this is eight albums, right? I mean, you guys have been, been at it and working hard and prolific. So congratulations to you. That's, it's rad. And uh, we'll look forward to the date when, uh, when, when everybody can enjoy it. But we're going to listen to a bunch of new music yeah. right now. What's, what's coming up next today? Uh, I'll do a few in a row. I got, they're all new songs. And then one people might know, Born in a Zoo will be the third but uh, two secret songs before that one. Nice secret songs and a and a, got a, and classic a crowd rock favorite rock. medley. Sweet, <laughs> three for three for th Friday. Yeah. Sorry, I missed that. What was it that? doesn't matter. It was really okay. stupid, man. Let's we'll, we'll right, move I, on immediately. I believe it. All right. <laughs> Thank you. 
are we wait remind me are we are we chatting or are we doing one more what do you what do you feel like yeah let's well, i want to talk about um uh, well, first off, I want to say that was awesome. That percussion break at the end of the song. Like, I did not realize in yeah. soundcheck that there even were drums over there. I didn't yeah, realize that that was going to be played. Play Meg, that, that was rad. Thank you. That's one of our oldest. Yeah, well, yeah. Oldest, um, of what we're doing now, it's one of the oldest songs. Yeah, Chuck was uh, Chuck Garden of the yeah. Internet is all about it. Uh, he was very happy that you guys played that. Chuck's tuned in from Scotland, so yeah. good for you guys. Go. Thank you for uh, for drawing the, the international audience. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Windsor is here. I know uh, Doc and Pam and Mike and Steve and all the new Colossus people. Everybody's tuned in from New York, so Sweet. we've got a, a, a wide ranging audience. Lord. Thanks for bringing the uh, the international crowd. The internet, uh, man. Wow. Yeah, yeah, dude. The internet's here, and they're yeah. loving it, man. It's here um, finally. Fuck. <laughs> um. How about let's talk about Daniel Johnston, man, because it yeah. he has come across my radar so many times recently. I was just listening to that built that built to spill plays the songs of Daniel Johnston, yeah. um, which just came out like not that long ago. And uh, then I was poking around and finding out stuff about you and realized that he's got uh, um, that you are a fan. And that just came up too many times in my life yeah. to ignore that. I want to talk about like how the ways that his sort of DIY vibe have maybe informed some of your work. Well, like I remember um, seeing that when that Devil and Daniel Johnson came out. I remember seeing it in the video store and like the cartoons on it. And I was like, oh, I got to check this out. And I didn't think my mom would let me rent it because it said the devil. She thought it'd be bad or something. But it was awesome, you know, like it's sad and stuff like, um, you know, but his work ethic is like pretty sweet. Like he's just all about drawing and making songs. And like, I don't know, I just felt like that would be a good way to spend your life just doing that. <laughs> You know, having people, you know, appreciate it and stuff. It's cool. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I certainly do. I mean, I, I have I, I told you this earlier that I just found out that you were an animator and a painter. Um, Steve was just telling me he sh shared that uh, the music <laughs> video for Sunday morning, too, uh, yeah. which is outstanding, man. Those are I, I, I like everything about it. So it's uh, yeah. I don't know. Is that to you? Do you like spend time doing the animation part, spend time doing the music part or is it all kind of just uh yeah, pretty all part much. of the it's same like, hole. You know, like one replaces the other when you're like, you know, having writer's block or whatever. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's like sometimes I'm just feeling like doing that and sometimes I feel like doing this. I don't know, but people always say like you should just focus on one thing, right, if you want to get through life. But I can't help it. I just enjoy both of them like the same at different yeah. periods. Yeah. Yeah. Did you have to? You can't just do the same thing. I mean, you have to go for a walk and skip a stone and do something else. And then yeah. the, that creates, especially like during block this unblocks. Yeah. Like during this quarantine or whatever, you know, like we're not working. So you have so much free time to just like make songs and stuff. But then you're like, you're not inspired by, you know, normal life stuff, like having a job and wanting to get back home to do your thing. You know, you just always have the time to do it. So it's kind of weird right now, but. Whatever. Yeah, definitely. I mean, there's no way that if this were not in the middle of a pandemic, I wouldn't be in the middle of Lake Tahoe hanging yeah. with my parents and doing this. But I'm really, really happy that I do yeah. have the time to do it. I mean, cool obviously, the circumstances it. suck, but it's, you know, yeah, I've got more free time right now than I have at any point in my adult life. And, yeah. uh, you know, making decent use of it. I'm going to go jump in the lake. It's great. It's kind of sweet. It's kind of sweet. <laughs> Um, we, there is, there's more music coming up. Uh, do you want to, what's, what's, what do you need to play last today? Yeah, we got one more and it's called Half Rich Loner and, uh, it's from, you know, the next release and uh, yeah, we'll play it for you here. We got one more in us here. Yeah. I hope it sounds all right with this microphone. I don't know. Dude, it is. It's sounding, it's sounding really good. I think the setup is, is excellent. It's the SM57.
guys man this sounded great thank you thank you and thank yep i will uh, i'll take it this is uh wagner. that sounds like high school man wagner wagner i love it dude thank you guys i want to hang out with you guys man i can't wait till we're yeah, in the dude. same room together man this has uh, been a ton of fun across the, yeah. the continent like this um and we uh what, what's the best way for people to keep in touch with you i know there's the uh pauljacobs.bandcamp.com um, when when new developments when new music is around what's the best way for people to stay in touch uh, pretty much probably instagram i use the most i don't know <laughs> facebook instagram yep. you can yep. hit me up on instagram sweet yeah we and we do this uh new colossus does this every week um so we're we're live every friday at 5 p.m eastern um thank you to exclaim this is awesome this is yeah. the third installation in the upstairs neighbors series yeah made explain. a fancy little Woo. can you you can see this on your side right that uh canada yeah, graphic the upstairs yeah, that's neighbors. where we are yeah, there, dude. There we are. Made all sorts of fancy graphics just for this. So, uh, so thank you guys for being a part of it. Thanks to Exclaim for presenting it. And, um, <laughs> dude, this has been awesome. Thank you guys so much. 